The BDO World Professional Darts Championship, Day 3, the action heating up. Would it be a left-handed assassin from England or a rapid righty from Romania? Who do you like here, David Cameron or Nick Fulwell? And go ahead, make my day for Dirty Harry, or would Sparky's army be mobilized? The world to play for today on High Roller Radio. Yes, third day of the championship, a Monday, Monday at the O2. The Indigo Arena has been getting some rave reviews from both players and fans alike. And I gotta say, I like the way it looks on the live stream. So much so, I had to chime in on the BDO's YouTube channel today. The live chat, good morning from Canada, I said. Come on, Cameron. You know I'll be cheering on the Canadian David Cameron this afternoon. There you see the order of play. Just three matches on the card. The Canucks on second. He plays Nick Fulwell. Can't wait. You can find some great deals on tickets, announced the BDO, for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday sessions. Just visit at BDO Darts and click the link. Why not spend a day loving the darts if you can. How about Andrew Dugan, my buddy? You know he's a high roller. Really looking forward to this afternoon's play, he tweeted, before going to work, getting to see all of this session. Enjoy the darts, my friend. All right, here we go with England's Justin Hood. First player intro today. The camera's tracking his entrance, walking on for a battle with Romania's Gabriel Pascaru. Lefty versus righty, and they both came out guns a-blazing. Pascaru nailed the bullseye for a 130 checkout. Hood, in turn, countered with a 12-darter, and then his own ton plus a 104, and that's how we got to 2-2 opening set. These ladies loving the darts, and Laura Turner, a winner yesterday. We all love Laura, tweeted Claire Stringer. The fans at the Indigo Arena were loving the man they call Happy Feet in the fifth leg decider. Beautiful ton 40 here en route to this double 16. He's fast-paced, easy to watch, and the Englishman was one set to the good. Pascaru was still pressing, though. Kept applying the pressure, leading to one. He'd snare the second set on a last start double 14 to get the fans on their feet and the Romanian flag flying. Those celebrations didn't last long, though, because Hood had that rat-a-tat-tat rapid-fire action working nicely. He cruised in the third set, has to go way up high to retrieve those weapons, but what a player. He then poured it on in the fourth. This double 20 would seal the deal. A three sets to one winner and a good spirited affair. I'm ecstatic, he said. It's amazing. This place is fantastic. It's brilliant. When asked about his chances, he said, I'm here to win it. Then he repeated it louder, I'm here to win it. And then he added, we're going to win it. I like Justin Hood, tweeted the anomaly of betting. Great, funny guy, very talented. His mathematics very good. And his cover shooting on the 19s were Van Gerwen-esque. As for improvement, he added, he could work on his finishing. The profile view of David Cameron, Canada versus England in our second fixture. The Canuck taking on Nick Fulwell, who had the darts and used them wisely in the fifth leg opening set. He got down first and pinned tops for the early advantage up a set and playing nicely. Evidence of that right here. That last start hanging in there, but like the first set, the second went to a last leg decider as well. Cameron had throw this time and made no mistake. Double 10 for even Steven. One set each. Ten legs played, all of them holds of throw. And then great sportsmanship here as Fulwell congratulates Cameron and then pats his belly as if to say, nice shooting, mate. The Englishman had most of the nice shooting in set three. At 2-1, he secured a break on double ten. That got his juices flowing. We got the Fulwell fist pump, and it was rinse and repeat in the fourth set as well. Fulwell was the better player, and he is full well into the next round, a three sets to one winner. And look at this, he paid tribute to his mate, Terry the Bull Jenkins, who was in the crowd watching on. The venue is absolutely spot on, he said. The crowd is brilliant. It's brilliant. 
Our third and final showdown of the afternoon pitted top seed Wesley Harms against Sweden's Andreas Harrison. Dirty Harry Baby trailing 2-1 on 121. Yes, he'd pin the bullseye for level peggings. Go ahead, make my day. What a shot. But in the decider, he'd waste three darts a double, and Sparky came up absolutely huge on the 101 to steal the set. Double 12, dead center. We got the finger point. That was timely. What a steal, tweeted the anomaly of betting. Really important check out there, said Andrew Dugan, and a really good start to the match. And yes, they were throwing quality arrows. Harms took a 2-1 lead in set two, but again, Harrison would level. Hard to see it, but that double 19's in there. And then against the darts in the decider, how sweet it is. A beautiful clutch 95 finish as he steals the set for all square at the interval. The Swedish flags, they were waving. Third set now. How about this scoreline? Another last leg decider, but against the darts, the Swede was sitting on tops. He took his time, stared at it, and yes, bang, first start for a two sets to one advantage. Upset brewing. Possibly. Not yet, though. The man with all the jewelry came up golden in the four set. This double 16, good for a break in leg two. And then he made a three on the spin with a hold of throw. Two, two through four sets. We had ourselves a good old-fashioned barn burner. The talent and experience of Harms was starting to shine through now. Nice ton 40 against the darts. He'd pin the double 16 to break with little issue. Meticulous on that outer ring. He'd hold next for 2-0, but there was no give up in Harrison, absolutely none. He would hold, then find the break he needed on some Shanghai Sugar. The 120 finish to force a tie break. Great shot, but terrific counter from the Dutchman. A 12-dart break for 3-2, and then he'd polish it off this way. Double 16, a tightly contested match. Harms wins it, 3-2. 4-2 in the tie break. To be fair, it feels awesome, he said. It's tough to be the number one seed here. I just played my game, and it went for me today. So there you have it. Day three afternoon session in the books as we look ahead to tonight. The tungsten will continue to fly. How about that lineup? Makuru Suzuki opens up her 2020 campaign as she looks to repeat. Scott Waits, Martin Adams, are you kidding me? From top to bottom, it's stellar. It's the BDO Worlds today on High Roller Radio.